Hi there, Libras. Welcome to your mid-July. Um, you have some really positive things coming in for you guys. Um, I feel a lot of strides. So like students, examinations, um, I feel like you're in a, you know, even though it's summertime here in the U.S., I feel like for some of you um, who are taking summer school or even, you know, um, getting your progress reports, getting your uh, report cards or even passing exams, I feel like that's coming in very strongly where um, the time invested in a situation is going to pay dividends for you guys, okay? So studying for exams, studying for tests, um, the, the, the work that you're doing too, I feel like if you're doing work diligently, there is a hefty bonus or a hefty uh, amount of money that you're getting back, okay? So I feel like overall things are looking really good on the uh, achievement fronts for work or school and also on the financial front when it comes to, you know, getting paid all uh, according to the work that you're doing. Um, for others, I feel like there's something new that's making you very, very happy. I'm feeling for some, um, like a pet, for others, a brand new car, and for other people, I feel like a new love interest that is really piquing your interest, okay? I see you spending some time um, like doing the preliminary background check on this person. So I don't know if you're doing some type of social media stalking or uh, looking at their, you know, social media accounts, trying to get to know them, trying to, you know, indiscreetly, like, um, I'm sorry, discreetly indirectly or discreetly trying to get to know them or trying to you know figure out looking at pictures i'm seeing like figuring out what kind of person is this person are they trustworthy are they honest um are, are they you know admirable because i feel like you have somebody in your environment that really piques your interest i'm seeing a fire sign so sagittarius aries or leo and i'm also seeing uh in particular a cancer Okay, because the way ca the cards are playing out or the, the way the cards are showing up, I, you have a lot of repeat cards for um, that are similar to cancer. So I feel like you might have cancer in your chart or you might be dealing heavily with a cancer. But there's somebody, I feel like this person might also be in your work environment, like a co-worker, a person you're collaborating with or a person you're meeting at school as well. And so I feel like this heavy energy about, you know, the beginnings of um, that courtship experience that you're you're enjoying the moment and you're feeling very excited about getting to know a new person but i do feel many of you are doing some type of stalking online um <clears throat> looking at their history looking at their profiles or even um it could be online dating too but i feel like they're 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 already you know you're you're seeing them in the in the flesh so you're seeing them physically in person and then you're doing like you know some digging up based on their social media okay um so i have a person coming into your environment they're coming in quite strong they're making you quite happy and i feel like there's a um, a great deal of attraction physical attraction between you and this person and uh if you are working with them there's a lot of overtime that you're doing so you're spending a a, a huge amount of time with this person and then for others if this is like you know through school you're spending a lot of time either working Working on a project doing something together or you know connecting in in a very constructive way in a way where you both are like working towards you know the same goals in which you both are kind of like on the same path with each other professionally or academically so there's a lot of good things happening here I feel like you're finding out a lot of information about this new person so they're they're really heavily heavily on your agenda um, you're excited about going to work you're excited about going to school because of this person and so they're mentioning here on the uh, financial front, on the love front, there's going to be a lot of forward movement. So if things have been, um, if, if things have been kind of tenuous or if things have been a little bit uncertain, unclear, you know, whether or not you're seeing somebody exclusively or whether or not they're interested in you, I feel like things are going to start to clear up for the next two weeks where you both are going to be working together and working on the same page or you're going to be moving things forward with one another, okay? For others of you who might be involved with a, uh, an earth sign, there's a little bit of conflict and earth sign, I'm sorry, um, Virgos, Capricorn, um, Taurus and that is their sun moon or rising I feel like there's a little bit of a stop start 
type of energy you might be in a situation where you're conflicted about you know whether or not to move ahead with this person or whether or not to to give them a chance to date them and if they are if it's a person in your work environment too i feel like the flirtation is really really strong but you're also uh playing it smart and you're you're trying to kind of like um <clears throat> i want to say like you don't want your your credibility to be you know in question at work so you might not want to get involved with people in the work front okay so you have some really positive things um i do feel here um great achievements happening for you so getting you know recognition for the work that you're doing getting recognition for doing a job well done at school passing exams and all of those things so it's, it's all bundled in together and i feel like a lot of great things like um if you're applying for school for example if you're applying for an internship if you're applying for something i feel like you're going to get some positive feedback and i feel like towards the end of the month like the 29th does come strongly to mind i'm not even sure what day of the week that is let me look very quickly so that is even on a saturday so on the 29th i feel like some some major things are being uh discussed some big ideas or even like a big push to go forward with something that's going to be you know um especially if it's a saturday it's great for dating so i feel like some big major decisions are being made with another person taking relationships to the next level even and then for others i feel like this is kind of like getting very positive feedback and recognition for the work that you're doing in the um professional front okay so libras you have some really good things i feel like there's a lot of social outing a lot of romancing a lot of courtship happening for you but on top of that it's also because you know i feel like vibrationally you're in a really good space you feel confident about your contributions you feel confident about the work that you're doing and people are recognizing you for your contributions okay so it's going to be a, a very good next two weeks for for many of you get out there start dating and you know um express yourself to that person that you like so if they're coming on um uh, and and you're not you're like shy or you're reserved about expressing your feelings it's good to express your feelings let the other person know that you know that you reciprocate uh, their feelings and that things can move forward for you guys okay um i wish you all the best i'm really happy to see this for you libras take care of yourself and i'll be back in the august reading okay bye bye